I'm, I'm of the belief that my, my voice is my instrument and I can write completely without needing any accompaniment. Singer, songwriter, and political activist Simfawe Dana was born in the Transkei, South Africa, in 1980. She is one of the nation's top vocalists, drawing comparisons with legends like Miriam Makiba. Her music is influenced by jazz, soul and pop, as well as traditional music and the gospel of her father's church. Donna, who is also inspired by her mother's powerful voice, started performing in 2002. In 2005, her debut album, Zandisile, won the Best Jazz Vocal Album at the South African Music Awards, where she was also voted Best Newcomer. Now, with three successful studio albums and a concert recording in which she is accompanied by a 27-piece orchestra, she has established a devoted fan base among old and young. We met with Donna in Johannesburg. Every, everything that we do has got a soundtrack to it. Everything comes with music. Going to fresh water from the river would be singing, be skipping. Um, as kids, um, if you we went to go fresh wood, we'd be, you know, singing. If we were doing the gardening, whatever we were doing, if maybe there were ceremonies. So that's my earliest um, memory of, of music. I went to one of those spiritual churches where there were no musical instruments, you know, our voices were our instruments, so we'd sing and we'd clap and we'd dance. And that's how come I prefer writing my music a cappella. It just comes more natural to me. Because of my church background, but uh, um, being on stage for me is a very spiritual experience. I've heard many people saying that being at my shows was like being in church. Um, I, I completely forget myself when I'm on stage. I actually believe that I'm two different people on stage and, and, and off stage. Something else just uh, takes over on, on stage. And, and for me, stage is a very sacred space uh, as well. A lot of our local sounds were banned um, when I was growing up because they had a political tone to them. So all of that music that had, you know, that, that spoke of our, of our struggle as black people in, in South Africa or as Africans um, was banned. And therefore, even when I write my music today, it's got a very strong element of that protest um, sound and, um, you know, political commentary or societal commentary. I, I try to empower people through my music and I try to educate as well through my music and I basically nitpick on topics that I feel as a country we are not necessarily dealing with or we're dealing with them incorrectly. I believe that we are going through an identity crisis and I think that is the biggest issue that we have um, in SA. We, need to get to a point where we embrace being African and we work actually towards culturally, investing culturally um, in, in, in the progress of, of this country. Like right now we are very much 
Europeanized and Americanized in, in, in many, many forms. Like if you turn on like the radio in SA, chances are you will hear an American song if you won't hear a, a local song. And I think that it's because we don't value ourselves as, as much as, 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 as we can. And we have not truly invested in decolonizing you know, uh, our, our, our mental state. Yeah,